Hello and welcome to episode 8 of series 5 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Hope you're enjoying the slightly more regular and uh, to this point slightly shorter episodes but I'm going to see if I can get three games squeezed into this one. But anyway, as I said, I hope you're enjoying the more regular episodes. Unfortunately, YouTube and its algorithm not so much doesn't seem to be enjoying it. Now, it's very rare that I do this. But I'm going to put out a little bit of a plea to you all watching, listening to this right now. First of all, I'm just about 30 subscribers away from 13,000 subscribers. And I'd love to reach that. It's just been annoying me. I've just been floating around below it. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please now take this opportunity. Click that subscribe button. Put on the bell notification and all of those things as well because you might as well. And you could just make me a very, very happy man by the end of today. Secondly, because YouTube seems to be penalising me for having a lower average watch time on the shorter versions of these episodes, it'd be good if we could battle back against that slightly by uh, really going for it on the likes for this episode. So if you don't normally like a video, it's not really something you do. I never do it really in real life, if I'm honest, unless I am given a very, very good reason to do so. And today, I'm going to be reintroducing something from the first series of this channel. It's going to be one of these very rare Tim Sherwood Passion Tokens. Yep. Now, if you like this video, you will get one Tim Sherwood Passion Token. And let me tell you, they bring all sorts of good luck. You wouldn't believe it. So you don't want to miss out on that. Smash that like button and you get one token. Every like on every video that you watch from now until the end of the series, that's another token. You could find yourself with 50, 60 Tim Sherwood Passion Tokens. And you can cash those in for all manner of real life prizes, like potentially finding five pounds that you didn't know you had. Yep, if you've got enough passion tokens, that could easily happen. Like waking up on a Saturday and thinking it's a weekday and that you need to go to work, but then you realise that it's actually the weekend before you properly wake up and then you're able to go back to sleep. All those sort of lucky things could happen. Just like this video. I would love to get this video to 300 likes. It's an achievable target, I'm sure. Uh, so hopefully you can help me out with that and hopefully that'll help these videos just reach a few more people. They do make a difference from what I've read. Likes can be important, that's why everyone's always banging on about them and I always forget to. But I think I've held you here for long enough now. So we will crack on into the first game of the episode. And let's take a look at who we're going to be uh, up against today. 15th place, true Bangkok United, not those sham of a fake Bangkok United, those pretenders. This is the true Bangkok United. So that's our first matchup in Buriram. And then after that, we travel to seventh place Trat. That could be a tricky one. The Elephants, I believe they're known. Uh, I think we'll probably skip the Vissel Kobe game. And then whew, to end the episode, it's a big game against the side that narrowly pipped us to the title last season, Chiang Rai United. That's a huge one to finish off. Obviously end of the last episode, we scored no goal, but we did score, a, but we did also score an actual goal before that. Uh, so yeah, mixed episode, but our fortune seem to be changing. We're up into sixth now, and a win today and favourable results elsewhere in the league could see us move into as high as third. So hopefully we can keep the form going, at least the league form. The AFC is done, isn't it? Let's take a look at the sides for this one today. Uh, oof, looking a little bit tired. Hmm, yeah, we've been doing a fair bit of running. Headless chicken running, you might say. I'd probably agree. Uh, big Nasser in today, Chai did, who's on an absolute tear up at the moment. Ricky Bueno, I thought was going to be our best striker, but Chai did. The Marilison, they call him the Thai Marilison. It's performing really, really well at a time where we absolutely need him to. Uh, true Bangkok United, where well, we've got a uh, advanced left midfielder to mark today. He's only 64 rated. They don't look to be a particularly strong team. Uh, not too long ago, in the uh, late 80s, this was actually a university team, um, but they have uh, made their way up through university level to now be a fully-fledged League One side. They finished fourth in the league last season, so pretty impressive. They've won the Thai League in 2006, so they've got a title to their name. But hopefully we can keep the good form going in the league and start this episode off with a win. Oh, it is bucketing it down here in Buriram. Um, been doing a little bit more research about Buriram. We'll get to that in the next episode, actually. We're going to be uh, going back into Google Street View, having a little look around. But we are, and I mentioned this in the intro, properly in the sticks here. So uh, with this rainfall, you'd imagine that the dirt tracks that we're going to be finding our way back to our uh, new home <laughs> are going to be a little bit treacherous amongst all the stray cows and all of that good stuff. But on the pitch here, what a pitch it is. 
things hopefully will go a bit better than that might. Let's uh, let's get into it. Oh, we've made a great run here. Oh, and that's a fantastic ball. Ref! Referee! <laughs> what a ball that was from Nasser Barazite. Give him the option here, but he puts the ball in with the left foot. Bueno at the far post. Looks to get to it. We should be able to pick that one up here. Oh, through the legs. Oh, <laughs> so close. Oh, foul's been called. Look at this. Oh, Megs. Oh, we're fouled there. Pff, didn't quite make it any further. It's unlucky. Ball in. Oh, and it's off the bar by Barazite. So 20 minutes on the clock here. And Bangkok with a rare spell of possession in our half. Can they get their first shot of the game away? No, they can't. Good defending. <sighs> That's poor. That's poor. But we can play it out here. And we've got loads of space out on this right-hand side. Acres of space here. And we've been found. Ball inside to Barazite. That's nice. Chided finds us. No, we meant to not be cutting back in. We know what happens when we do that. It doesn't go well. We'll play it back. We'll start again. Don't want to take any risks. We need a good performance here. Oh, we could get to that. Now we're through. Bueno. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Just got a bit crowded there, but we made the wrong decision. There's no doubt about that. We can't seem to get it back off them. We seem fairly... Happy just to sit back here, soak up this passing pressure. Who's the guy now? That's a better ball into Brenner, who definitely sounds Brazilian, and that deflection could have gone anywhere, but it's the first shot of the game for Bangkok, and a bit of a worry there. Brenner. There's about five different decent Brenner centre-forwards in the Brazilian leagues. Could get this back here. Yes, we read that well, and now we can break. Just chide it. I oh, know it's Bueno ahead of us. We'll use him if we can. Looks like we're going all the way here. Ah, oh, just at the last minute, tried to play it back. Is that going to be a foul on us? Oh, for crying out loud. We just overstretched for the pass. Bueno was nowhere to be seen. But we almost got the ball away at the right time. Ah, gutted. Baron's like now. We've stepped inside. Ah, oh, it's a lovely ball. Opened up the defence here. Oh, it's a slip from Everton. Oh, but he's back to his feet very quickly there. Oh, we have been indecisive in possession today. We've made some good runs, got into good positions. But there, I mean, we would have looked for a pass or something else, but the defender slipped. I thought we had an opening. <laughs> Just couldn't quite get the shot away. Unlucky, though. Oh, Chided picks us out beautifully here. Oh, we step away from the one. Ball into the box. Bueno's waiting. That's not the best pass ever. We've been playing well. I'm happy with that half. I don't think we misplaced many passes. We did technically lose the ball quite a lot, but all of those were in really advanced attacking positions. But at the same time, we were pretty conservative. We've managed to conserve our energy pretty well. Not a single shot on target. We had chances to get shots away. Okay, so we misplaced two passes. We put one cross in, one interception. It's okay. It's okay. It's as an attacking performance as ever. We haven't done a huge amount of defending to do. Uh, obviously, a lot of you all saying in the comments that I should retrain as a winger. I'd like to think if we were playing in a formation where we aren't a wing-back, which we absolutely are in this formation, then we would be um, a little bit more defensive-minded. But we've got license to roam here. I've been watching a lot of Brighton recently, and I love Tarek Lamptey. What a player he is. And he pops up in all of the same positions as we do. So, I mean, a lot of people are calling us the uh, white Tarek Lamptey uh, in Thailand. Obviously, he's got a big following there as well. But also, equally... Uh, this is only ever the highlights of the games, and I'm not going to show you highlights of me being defensively solid, putting, well, I will put tackles in because they don't come very often, but um, maybe you'd be surprised if you watched a full game. Anyway, why am I defending myself? We know the player that we want to be. We're a marauder, possibly a right winger one day, we'll see. Anyway, second half, I think there's more to come in this one. And down the line for Nasser Barazai again. The Dutchman gets ahead of his man. Into the box here. We'll play it into Chided and the effort is blocked. Again, Everton with more good defending. He did okay there. This is a nice ball down the line. Looking for the run of Barazai, whose momentum took him past the defender. Cuts inside really well. Finds Chided, who's in great form. It's a good block. Ball is played back. Oh, that's nice. Can we play Chided in? Yes, we can. What a ball. Oh, he went for the back heel as well. We love you, Chidey. It just didn't quite come off. Oh, we've done our man again. Nice ball inside to NASA. That's not the ball we're after there. We can get up and win this. Yes, can try to get to it. He can. What a header. 
Chided though. Ah, oh, dispossessed. Just missing that final moment of magic. Yes. Oh no, he's got away from us. We've had him on skates all game here, but now a chance for this guy with the name. Ah, oh, yes. Defensive solidity there. And now Barazite is launched forward. Can we back him up here? Going for the inside channel. That's a Barazite. Oh, it's bloody Everton again. I bet it is. He's had an absolutely huge performance. Never a foul. Never a foul, ref. Never. Who's he being... Who's he giving that to? Is it the Barazite challenge? Yeah, it's the Barazite challenge. He's already playing an advantage for our strong shoulder. And then NASA also pulled up. 86th minute here. I imagine we're being taken off. Yes, we are. Please do not score now. Oh, my God. I'll be so angry. Right, come on. We've not been great today. It doesn't look like we're going to find a late goal. And if anything, it looks like True Bangkok United. Maybe the ones to get the last chance of the game. They've been poor. We've been pretty poor. I would say our personal performance today has been one of my favourites so far. We just lacked in end product. Can we find something here, though, with Barazite? Bueno ahead of him. More into the substitute. Oh, dispossessed. Tragic here from Buraram. And the fans who've made it out in this torrential rain will be going home very unhappy today. But will they be going home incredibly unhappy? As Vander is taken out there, don't you dare give that a free kick. I would have surely been 1-0 to them if they'd got a free kick in that area. But that is a disappointing performance. As I said, though... Our personal performance, I thought, was pretty good. Oh, Barazite off the bar. What could have been? But I also think it could be a performance that ends us up with a five. It's a fucking five. Ah, oh, It's just we did everything up to the point of doing the things that are going to get us a good player rating. We did all of them well. Positionally, I think we're all right there. We only misplaced three passes. We did lose the ball quite a lot, but those were all in attacking positions where we could have made things happen. Look at that. Quayprom gets man of the match with not a single pass missed. Maybe that's what we should be trying for. Oh dear. Oh, 11 points away from Ratchaburi, who we beat in the last one, but we've lost the momentum against them. Very, very disappointing there. And what's going to make that particularly disappointing is now the time that I'm going to announce our goals for this season as an individual. And this is going to have an effect over which teams we can move to. Now, we want to be moving on as much as we love Borough United. We want to be moving on as soon as possible. We want to be climbing our way up the leagues. So I've done a bit of research into which leagues in the game are in which, at which level. You know, what's the, the rankings of leagues in the game? Now, if you're talking just Europe, you can use the UEFA coefficient uh, to look at the league ranking. But it's not quite so easy when you're comparing leagues from all over the world. So this is a little something I put together. <laughs> I love a highlighter. I do love a highlighter. But thankfully, I've also created this much prettier version. And what I've done is I've taken the 23 leagues in the game and split them into four tiers. And depending on the average rating that we have, that dictates the tier of team that we can look to move to. Now, one thing I would add on top of this, if we get headhunted, if we get approached by a team in another tier, that doesn't matter. The average rating becomes irrelevant. That's unlikely to happen, but what we do probably want to do is in the next transfer window, if we have a high enough average rating, or the next one, if we have a high enough average rating to trigger tier one, then we can approach teams in those leagues. So the first goal for us is an average rating of six. We were at 5.8 before, that five has taken us down to 5.7. It's achievable, we need some better performances than that. <laughs> oh, you're so close, a couple of better passes, a couple of finishes from our strikers. Could have been in a six easily would have seen us move up but it wasn't to be but the teams in tier one that if we were at six now and we were at six in the uh, mid-season transfer window i'm going to allow us a move there uh, those include uh, la liga 2 it's not called that is it there's another name to it but basically the spanish second division uh, the italian second division the french second division uh, the Brazilian Serie B, the Chilean League, and the Colombian League. So it's all the second tier leagues. I mean, realistically, we probably would want to move to one of the European second tier leagues or a couple of the slightly lower ranked South American leagues. We could be playing top flight football there again. And the Colombian League would be interesting. Now, I used a website for this called Kick Algor, who apparently have their own algorithm 
uh, for the deciding where these leagues should rank. But basically, the, the best ranked league out of Tier 1 is the French 2nd Division, uh, which is just slightly higher ranked than uh, the Spanish 2nd Division and the Italian 2nd Division, respectively. Um, Serie B, the Brazilian League, doesn't even appear on their rankings, and neither does the Thai League. That is, that's how bad this league, in theory, is. It doesn't even rank within the... I think it was top 100, maybe. No, it might be top 75. So those are the teams that we can deal with if we can get to a 6 average rating, which at the moment seems a bit far off. 6.5 average rating, which seems like complete dreamland. That would bring in leagues, uh, including the Championship. That'd be nice. Uh, the Danish League, the Argentinian League, the Chinese League would be an interesting step up. The Scottish League and the Swiss League. So those are some interesting ones there. That, those are certainly um, more enticing. I'd love to play in Scotland. Uh, I'd love to play in the Championship. But yeah, 6.5 average rating. That's a long way off at the moment. And then if we could make it to 7, um, well, we'd start looking at leagues like the Belgian League, uh, the Brazilian League. That'd be fun. Maybe Ponte Preta. I know they're in League 2, aren't they? Uh, the Dutch League, Portuguese League, Turkish League. So, uh, yeah, there we are. That's what we're aiming for this season. We've got a long way to go. And performances like that certainly will not help our cause. Got a nice little break now. Hopefully we are playing today against Trap. We're putting in so many poor performances at the moment. It wouldn't surprise me to see us on the bench. Uh, we are starting. We definitely need a good performance today. Now, before I forget, uh, we can look at the training here. You were very kindly allowed me an extra focus point after the uh, flare section of last time's skill challenge. Actually, the episode before what before that. I'm recording two at a time at the moment, so there'd be a bit of a delay on me responding to some of the stuff that happens. But anyway, only one episode, max. Um, and I think we are going to put it... Well, it's, te well, it's tempting, isn't it? I mean, really, it should be passing, I guess, with that flare challenge. We could... Uh, how long would it take us to retrain? As a, we don't need to retrain as a right winger now because, just out of interest though, how long would it take? Does it tell you? 143 days with one. We, we don't actually want to play as a right winger at the moment, so that's a bit pointless. But anyway, I think we are going to go for stamina again though. As boring as it is, that needs to improve. Although we did pretty well in the last game, but I'll leave that as it is. Uh, there's not going to be a skills challenge in this episode, and I don't think there's going to be one in the next episode. But the bleep test will be next. Mark those words. Please don't actually mark them, because who knows. Right. Second game. Trat. They are even on points with us, ahead of us now, on goal difference. And we're away from home. Let's take a look at the sides. Hopefully we're looking refreshed. Still a little bit tired, even after a week off. <laughs> Our recovery, not good. That's like my real life levels of recovery. You know, when you're really unfit, you don't feel that bad the day after playing football but it's the day after that that you feel bad that's where i am in real life at the moment and it seems to be in game as well formed in 2012 this is not a team with history much like us and they are known as the white elephants they've also got a ricardo or probably a brazilian ricardo up top for them and we've got a uh, 62 rated ricardo santos <laughs> ricardo bueno versus ricardo santos these sound like made up brazilian names don't they and we've got a second striker to mark mustafi possibly or something like that mustafa adzadzoi on the left uh, barazite playing today chided on a yellow right come on we've got to get a win here we need a good performance we've got to stop losing the ball i think that was actually the problem misplaced passes not so much because we didn't misplace that many passes, but we lost the ball quite a lot. And that is where we went wrong. Such a gamble. We need to be getting forward. That's where we're going to get the... Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm going to allow a focus point in training for any man of the match performance that we make in-game. Give us a bit more of a chance. And then it comes down to do we take the gamble. The only way we're going to get man of the match, really, unless you take the last game where our player won it by just not missing a pass, which we could try and do. But really, we need to be scoring goals or assisting multiple goals to get that. And those focus points, we need to get as many of them as possible. We're still at 69 rated after quite a few games. We need to improve, especially if we want our average rating to go up. There's a few different factors in play at the moment, which makes me not 100% sure about what tactics we should be employing individually. But as a team, the one tactic that we need is to score more goals than the opposition. Simple, effective. Let's do it. Tried it on the turn into Bueno. Flicks it up, looking for Barazai. Oh, that would have been really special. Straight down the throat of the keeper. Got to stick with him. He's a second striker. He will make the run. He has made the run. We're behind him here somehow. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, has he got away from us there? Go on. No. 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 <laughs> well, that was not our best defending. Ball is switched nicely there to us. First time into NASA. Didn't want that back straight away. But we'll find Chided in the box here. He'll turn. Chided now. Oh, can he get the effort away? He can. Is that well wide? Or was there a save there? I'm not sure. I like the interplay there with Barazai. All down the line. Chided did well to turn back inside. Got it onto his left. Or onto his right. He's fouled there. Surely. Surely could have gone down under that initial challenge. We're on three. Held well by Barazai. Into Santos. No, nothing comes of it. And that's half time. We are having another nightmare game. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I mean, individually, we're making huge errors of judgment all over the pitch. No, no, we fucked it. We went for the intercept there. We tried to. Tried to second guess where that was going. We've got the block in at least. Fucking hell. An attacker would be nice. No, no, no. Come on. Yes. Going to Chided. Why are you nearly falling over with that pass? Chided, hold it up. We're coming down. We're coming around your right hand side, mate. Just hold it. Oh, it's a good ball in. Bueno on the turn. Nasa Barazite. Oh, we lose the momentum from that attack. It could still fall kindly to us here. No shots coming in. The number 10. Edge of the box will find us here. Effort! Oh! <laughs> we've struck it really well. And we've forced a great save from the keeper there. Strong in defence at one end. And then popping up on the edge of the box at the other. Good first touch. It's a good hit. And a fantastic save as well. We really need something to kickstart our game here. And Burrams as well. Chided. Bueno. Oh, that's a good ball. It's a good take. No! Yes! Yes! We needed that! Look what it means to him! Look what it... Oh, he's shushing the... Oh, okay. Okay, keeping it cool. That's what we like. That's what we like. But we have just kept on going here. We've been decent defensively. We've done our duties. We've had a hell of a lot of running to do to keep tracking back with the second striker. And it took us two opportunities there. But we just needed that extra man in the box. It's a lovely diagonal run, hitting the post with the first effort, but we are quicker than anyone else to pounce on the rebound. Look at that, in off the wing. You've got to love it. Roaming, marauding right wing back. Into the box. We were narrowly denied with a great save by the keeper. Narrowly denied again by the post, but we were there to poke in the rebound. Could there be a win and a man of the match and potentially a decent rating incoming? We need it badly. My good friend Shales did say that um, in the first episode where he scored a goal, you don't often hear about a right back recovering from a goal drought. But we are not a right back. We have proved that. We are a right wing back. And we score goals. And we get forward. And occasionally we defend. Like this. Oh. <laughs> Would have been great. No, ref, not a yellow card, please. Please, not a yellow. It's not a yellow card. Carlo Bueno's made a good run. No, it's a fantastic ball into him. Oh! Uh, we're stepping it up here. We're stepping up a level. But Ricky Bueno so often <laughs> foiling our plans for a good rating. But that's a great ball in. It's not a bad turn either, but just stabs it wide. Unlucky. Oh, it's a lovely ball in. Looking for Chida. It's fallen to us here. Oh, he's offside. Fuck. He's not. Oh! Oh, should have been, should have been. We've put two exceptional through balls today. Neither of the strikers fancied finishing them, though. Pierre is chided with space. Put a ball in, mate. All right, we'll have it if you want. Chided, going alone. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, good ball finds us in space. We are very tired here. It's Mawenta, though, the substitute. We'll find us again, and we'll make our way into the box here. Bueno, an option. We're going to go alone. Yes! <laughs> Outside of the boot finish. There you go. We get our first brace in Thai League One. And are we bothered? Am I bothered? Yes, we're fucking bothered. On the inside, we're dancing. <laughs> Ricky Bueno there said, don't pass to me. I'm shit. Don't pass to me. Um, but good link up here with Moenta. Somehow finding a last sprint in us for this game. Bueno takes the defender away. We had so much time. 
to pick our spot there outside of the right boot. That is absolutely on brand. I've got no left foot when it comes to shooting. And uh, that's exactly what I would have done in that position. Full of confidence after the first, after what has been a great game. And that is a smart, smart finish. Have some of that. So there we have it, our first brace in Thai football. A great performance at both ends of the pitch. Surely man of the match here. And a crucial three points for us. It felt like this is the performance that we had in us in the last game. We just couldn't quite put the pieces together. But really proud of ourselves today. A good, good game. It was a tight one to begin with. But we just made the difference in the end. Could have easily had a couple of assists as well. Um, let's see, despite what I'm sure was a lot of poor passes and losing the ball a lot. It's a 7.5. Excellent. Yes. We needed that for so many reasons. That is one focus point. Actually, we only misplaced one pass. Wow. And three shots on target from four. Pretty impressive. And five tackles. Good stuff. And two goals. Yeah, that's that's pretty key. Heat map looking all right. Looking all right. Great game. Needed that so badly. Thank God for that. That 7.5 should sneak us up closer to that six. And three points for Buran. Look at that leapfrogging there still eight points behind Ratchaburi here we will play again and two points now ahead of Chiang Rai our next opposition but we've got a good goal difference actually compared to everyone else just had trouble scoring Ratchaburi have scored 26 already okay so there we are well, that takes us back up to 5.8 <laughs> slow progress I don't know how long we've got until the next window um, our actual development is on track at least that's good um, but we can go and add one more point to us there. So stamina-wise, we've just gone up to 70. It's not bad 70, really. We're doing okay. I think this next focus point could be used elsewhere. So this or Kobe, we're not going to play because we're out of this already. That could affect us. It's tempting to play, but I want to get things moving. Uh, let's do the training first. Let's give us a... Passing's been alright. I don't feel like we've got a problem with passing. I feel like um, strength. Strength is worth a go. It's 4, 17 remaining. We are starting today. We're going to take the risk of skipping this one. Not the risk because we're not going to progress. Because we're already out of the Champions League. Yes, we are. We are already out. So, yeah, we don't need to play that. Hopefully we don't have an absolute shocker and end up tanking our average rating. But I don't think that's going to happen. Let's keep moving. What happened in this one? One all. Okay. That sees us bottom of the group. As expected. It's a big step up, though, to those leagues. We stay at 5.8. That's fine. So, yeah, our physical contact is pretty low. 65 there would definitely be good to uh, improve that a little bit. I think that might improve balance as well, potentially. We could keep trying to max out speed. We're at 85 now. We could get quicker. It's not inconceivable for a 20-year-old me to actually get a bit quicker. Uh, 62 defensive awareness. That's about to go up. So just three days later, let's make our way into the final game of this episode. And what a game it is. And we're on the bench. <laughs> okay. That's annoying. I don't know why. It was always a risk. Not playing the last game. I had a horrible feeling that might happen. It's all right. We can have one game on the bench. The Rubidin comes in. Now we're absolutely knackered. Okay. That was the risk, wasn't it, really? That we were having no control <laughs> over our how much running we're doing that we'd get absolutely tanked. And three days later, we have been. Okay, that's fair enough. I'll take that on the chin. Looks like Hyprocon as well, who's the left back, also had a big shift in that game. He's out today. So that's fine. A bit of squad rotation. It's a shame that we are rotated out for the league game. We'll watch this from the bench. Uh, chided on a blue today, looking good. Interesting formation for Chiang Rai. As I said, this is last season's champion. It's their first ever league win last season, having only formed in 2009. Looks like they've got a big Brazilian forehead up top. Not the best players in terms of ratings elsewhere. And three at the back, there'd be so much space for us down that right-hand side here. But anyway, we watch this one from the bench. If we can get on, score some goals if needed. Let's get into it. So here we are, back at the Chang Arena on the bench today. But it is a uh, substitution. More based on fatigue, I think, than uh, performances, of course. After a man of the match, two-goal thriller performance. Um, but Bandovic realises that, as now, probably the key player in the side. Maybe that's a little bit 
above our station, but you know, we need to be rested in games like this. So we'll rejoin the action if anything happens. If not, we'll just twiddle our thumbs on the bench and hope for a few minutes later on. Oh, and off the mark straight away here in Burram, and it is that man, Big Chidey, the not jaded one. And that is a lovely, lovely start. Sustained pressure here from the home side. Great ball retention. Played inside. Bueno finds. Not sure who's the number 10. Is that Sarachat? Possibly Sarachat. Uh, no, it's not Sarachat. It's a simple ball into Chided. One touch out of his feet. On his weaker left, keeper will be asked questions of. But what you cannot deny is we've got the first goal here. Hopefully we can build on that. Oh, free kick edge of the box here. It's going to be Jaja over this one, over the wall, and rustles the onion bag there, as they so often do from those positions. That's a very, very good free kick, though. Nothing we could do about that. Honours even again here in Buram. Let's go again. So half time here at the Chang Arena. We started very strongly. Goal in the ninth minute for Chided, but that was uh, cancelled out. Only 16 minutes in by Chiang Rai, who've been well up for this one as well. It has been a tight game. Had a couple of big, big chances towards the end of that second half. I think with our stamina situation and the fact that it is still a draw, I don't know if we'll see many minutes, if any, today. But all we can really do is sit and pray for another three points because we're on something of a roll and we need to keep that moving. Oh, Zsa Zsa Gabor on the turn. And we go behind here. Gutted, absolutely gutted. It all seemed a little bit too easy to me. Ball straight in. There's no defensive midfielder in sight there to plug those gaps. He looks massively offside there. The defence just went to pieces. Left him all on his own. It was an easy finish in the end. Gutted. He started so strong in this game. Oh, Barazai. Bueno! Oh, <laughs> no bueno. No bueno. But I think it could be time now to bring on the big guns. Hang on, where's he put us on? Central midfield. Love it. <laughs> Alongside Barazai. I like it. Playing on the pitch with Narubadin for the first time. We've not played in central midfield before, but I'm thinking this is a great opportunity for us to come on and be a hero here. You'd love to see it from uh, Bandovic. Yes, keeps. Tons of space here in the centre. Oh, look at all the pitch we've got to look at. Oh, and they're dropping off here. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, space in behind here. Go on, NASA. Oh, you slow, fat bastard. Oh, <laughs> sliding in there. 82nd minute. That's not what we want to be doing. We want to be getting forward. We're cruising to a really shit average rating here, but I know there's nothing we can do about it. We can barely get a touch here. Time running out here. Chang Rai frustrating us. It's far too simple for them to do so. As the clock runs down. Oh, the side that bettered us over a full season have bettered us over 90 minutes and even bringing us on as a central midfielder which was a maverick decision which you've got to love from Banovic it just didn't work we've looked out of our depth out to sea in central midfield we've put in the miles we've tried to get the tackles in it's just not worked and that is going to be chalked down as a really really disappointing loss for Buraram we look like we were turning a corner this season we're going to have the worst fucking rating here we've come on and done nothing don't even think we've passed the ball once we've tried to win it back 39% possession at home. 4.5. Come on, we're only on for a few minutes. That's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, that is such a kick in the teeth. We're certainly not a central midfielder. And Chiang Rai, March ahead of us. We stay at 5.8. Okay. 7.5 to 4.5. What a drop. Gutting, though. Absolutely gutting. Some tight possession has just improved. Anyway, that is going to be enough for today's episode. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you haven't already subscribed then please do so. Like this video for a Tim Sherwood passion token, which honestly, when you start building them up, you're really going to notice a difference in your life. Join me again on Monday for more action. I'll see you in a bit.